Okay, guys, instead of a normal Monday teaching meeting, uh, we're going to do a film for Christmas Sunday, because Christmas is on a Sunday this year. None of us are going to be gathering, but we want to ship something out to people. So what kind of ideas do you have? What do you think, Scott? What if we did a, a fishing theme, which is around kind of the touch and the scent of being near the sea? Jesus says to his early followers, come follow me. I'll send you out to fish for people. We do some sort of tie-in with Christmas and fishing. I like that. That's, that's pretty good. Um, or, or we can talk about uh, kind of on the same lines where uh, Paul talked about running a lot. So maybe we can do like a workout or like, yeah, you know, like running or lifting weights or just feel like we can go that direction. Yeah. You wake up and you do a CrossFit workout. All right, so you're gonna do 10 kettlebell swings, 20 push-ups, and 30 deadlifts. Right after that, you can grab your protein shake and some cookies, pound this drink, and call it a day. I was thinking maybe an athletic thing, like it's a big college football day, right? Like the Texas Longhorns aren't gonna be playing, but there'll be a lot of college football games that day. We could play that up and talk about Jesus and football. Who are you? I'm Travis. I'm the pastor at Bethany Eastside. I don't know why we have to do anything at all. I mean, really, it's, it's Christmas. Let's just get out of the way. We don't have to tweet anything or say anything. Let's just let people do their thing and we can just so maybe not even make a movie. Why, yeah, why are we wasting the time and resources on this one? Is it gonna get watched, you know, all that. Actually, I was thinking we could tie it in with all the kids because they're gonna be home with their parents, so. I, I, this is Mad Lib, this is Junior one, so if you guys can give me an adjective, it'd be good. Dumb. <laughs> dumb, dumb Can we go dumbest? Dumbest, okay. yeah. I'd like yeah. to get us outside if we could. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, outside like is a great idea. Like, uh, what I was thinking is the shepherds on a hill and so we could do kind of a mountaineering theme. Because this, right? Will you belay me? Oh. Yeah, absolutely. Will you wear a leaderhose? Uh, I can, <laughs> yeah. Great. Hey, That's can you guys give me an animal real quick so I can keep this going? Cause I, Fish? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bear? It's like a donkey? These guys think that faith and mountains have nothing to do with each other. I just wrote an entire book on faith and mountains. And on Facebook, already 53 likes. It just shows they need a mentor. We got yeah. fishing. We got football. We got CrossFit. CrossFit. Yeah. We got Madlers, we got nothing. And we got mountains. Yeah. Well the CrossFit, cross has to uh, do with uh, Jesus. That's right? a good word. Right? I'm leaning sure. towards CrossFit with a workout of climbing a rock face, maybe? Hmm. Well, I was so prepared. I had the red pen, the green pen, and there were some things that needed to be erased. I feel like we're stuck. Kendi, you gotta help me out here. You know, with the manger scene, it's got all the senses. You got the touch, the taste, the scent of the manger scene. It, we always do well if we go back to the scripture. Like, yeah. how about the Christmas story? Yeah. Scripture. Yeah. yeah. I like it. Yeah, she's yeah, always right. That's a great idea. Let's try it. Here, here's what I've got. There were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks by night. And the angel appeared and said to them, don't be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You'll find a baby wrapped in clothes, lying in a manger. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby. And when they'd seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And everyone who heard it was amazed. I love that. That's what it's all about. One, two, three, four.
was so stoked to do the fishing motif. I mean, I could preach in all my fishing gear, but it is so hot in here. <laughs>